Hey everybody, in today's video I'm going to show you how we can insert data into a MySQL table using PHP. At this point in the series, I am assuming that you have already established a connection to your MySQL database. If you haven't, here's some code that will do that. In my index file, I have included the code to connect to my database. At the end of my script, I am going to close this connection just because I know for a fact I'm going to forget to mention that, so I'm doing it now. To close a connection, you can type my SQLI underscore close, then pass in the connection. Our connection is underlined because VS Code doesn't recognize it because we're including it from another file, but it should work just fine. Now what we're going to do is write an SQL query. I'll store that within a variable. SQL. This will hold our query. So within quotes, we can write some SQL query of your choosing. We'll do a basic insert. Insert into the name of the database, my database's users. Then list the columns. I will insert a username and a password. List the column, user, password. Then some values. We're going to start with just some plain text. My username will be SpongeBob. For my password, let's say SpongeBob's password is pineapple1. Then to submit the query, we can use the my SQLI underscore query function, then pass in our connection and our SQL query. And that's it. Again, VS Code isn't going to recognize our connection because we're importing it. If I were to run this query, then refresh PHP my admin, we have our submission. User ID of one, it's set to auto increment in this case. The user is SpongeBob, password pineapple, and here's the registration date. I set the registration date to be a current timestamp. Yes, I am recording at 2 in the morning because I'm crazy. Let's say that for some reason we can't register a user. Maybe I forget a password. Well, we get this fatal error. Fatal error, uncaught MySQLI exception. We can surround our query with the try block. We can try this code. If there's any exceptions or errors that pop up, we can handle them gracefully. Let's create a try block. We will try some possibly dangerous code, then handle any exceptions if they come up. If this query is successful, then let's echo. User is now registered. If we encounter a problem, let's catch that. The exception we're catching is this one. I'm going to copy it, paste it. Then we will echo could not register user. Gotta fix that. All right, let's try this again. My query is not technically correct, but we should be able to handle that exception. Could not register user as you can see here. With our SQL query, let's insert some variables. Let's declare two. Let's declare a username. Username equals Squidward this time. And a password. Password equals clarinet2. With our values, within single quotes, we will list our variables username, and password. Let's see if this works. User is now registered. Then if we head to phpMyAdmin, refresh this table, we now have an entry for Squidward with the password of clarinet2. Our passwords are plain text. It would be much better if we were to store a hash of a password just because, you know, these are plain text. It's not secure. So let's hash our password. We'll create a hash equals. We will use the password hash function. The two arguments are the password 
and an option for an algorithm, we will use the default. Password default. Technically, we're using the bcrypt algorithm. That's the default currently. We will insert our username and our hash in place of our password. Uh, let's change the username though. Let's assign Patrick. His password will be rock3. Let's see if this works. Okay, refresh PHP my admin. And there is Patrick. User ID three, username is Patrick. Here's the hash of the password and the registration date. All right, everybody, so that's how to insert data into a MySQL table using PHP.